Hey guys, so some of you might know that I'm going to be leaving for an eight week trip. If you want to hear more about that, I made a video on it and I'll link to it right here. So I'm gonna be gone for a long time and in preparing for this trip, I did a lot of thinking about what tech to bring with me. And before I leave, I wanted to make a what's in my bag extreme travel edition for you guys. Now this definitely isn't what I would bring for just any trip to another city. It's kind of overkill for that. This is more of an extended extreme travel edition what's in my bag. Also, I will link to all of this stuff in the description below. You can go check that out if you're interested. So I wanna start over on this side of the table with the bag itself because this is a relatively new purchase for me. It's actually something that just came out recently. This is the Peak Design Everyday Messenger. And I really like this bag. It's actually made with photographers in mind, but I found it to be a pretty good bag just for everyday use. It's designed to be able to change sizes based on where you latch it here. And that's actually the best feature while at the same time being the biggest drawback because you can overload this bag if you want to, but in doing so, you put a lot of weight on one shoulder and that's not very comfortable. If you're gonna be putting that much stuff into one bag, you wanna be wearing a backpack that distributes your weight evenly. Um, but that being said, it's nice to know that you have the option if you if you brought a little bit too much or if you, you know, bought a few too many souvenirs, you can fit it in this bag if you really need to. Other than that, it's got all sorts of hidden compartments and everything like that. I'm actually planning on doing a full review of this bag after I've tested it out. Um, and that kind of goes with all of these products. I'm gonna give you a brief overview of everything, but I don't want this video to be crazy long, so I'm not gonna be doing a deep dive into any one thing. But I do recommend this bag. Another thing I have on here, and this is kind of for photographers, this is a clip from Peak Design, the makers of this bag. It allows me to latch on my camera, and also the tripod plates from this tripod by three-legged thing, which I'm gonna to get to in a second. Um, they work with this Peak Design latch, so I never have to change plates. I never have to go find a coin or a screwdriver. Everything just works. The last thing I'll say about this bag is that I really like these inserts. They change shape to whatever you want because they're this kind of geometric design. And they also stretch out when you want the bag to get bigger. Moving on up here on this corner, we've just got my prescription glasses and Wayfarer sunglasses. Here we have a Logitech wireless mouse. Now I prefer using a mouse to a trackpad whenever I'm doing video editing or playing any games on my computer. So that's definitely um, something I'm gonna wanna have with me for such a long trip. I also have a mouse pad here, standard mouse pad that just rolls up quite nicely. Here I have a pair of North Face gloves, which I got for Christmas. I really like these because they're really thin, but they're also warm and uh, they're not bulky, so they don't like restrict your movement at all. They also have this material on the front, which allows you to use touchscreen devices like smartphones and iPads. So you don't have to take your gloves off on a cold day just to text or do something with your smartphone. Next up, I've got my power brick. I think this is something that's essential for any kind of traveling. And this is something I am trying out right now. It's by M-Tech and it looks pretty different from the other travel bricks out there. It's in this cloth pouch. Now the reason I got this is because it has the lightning cable built in and it also has the USB cable built in for charging. I really, really like products that have cables built in. I hate having to carry a big mess of cables and they inevitably get tangled and impossible to find the one you need when you need it. So anything that has cables built in, I really love. It also has this pouch here so that you can slide your phone in while it's recharging. The pouch doesn't fit the 6S Plus, but it has a red strap on here that you can slide the phone into instead that will fit the 6S Plus just fine. Uh, moving on to camera gear, I am bringing two cameras with me, the Sony a7S Mark II and a7R Mark II. The a7R Mark II is a high megapixel count camera, so that's what I'll be using to take photos. The a7S Mark II is a lower megapixel count camera that takes very, very good low light photos and video. So I'll be using the a7S Mark II for video and for any low light photography, whereas I'll be using the a7R Mark II just for daytime photography. I'm also bringing with me the Sony RX100 Mark IV, which has its problems with overheating while shooting 4K but it's still a great point and shoot camera. It's still probably the best vlogging camera out there. So I'm bringing it with me as my go-to smaller point and shoot. As for interchangeable lenses, I'm bringing with me the Sony FE 90 millimeter macro. 
and the Zeiss Battis 25 millimeter lens. These are my two favorite lenses and I don't want to bring a huge collection of lenses because that's something you really have to take with you on the plane, you can't check those and I don't want to fill up my carry-on bag too much. The last camera I'm bringing is the Ricoh Theta S. It's a 3D camera. It's something I just picked up recently and I haven't had a chance to really test out so I want to use this trip as an opportunity to try and get some good footage, try and really put it through its paces. Up here we've just got some power accessories. So this is a just Kensington converter. Anywhere in, your, in the world you can use this to convert any kind of outlet to any other kind of outlet. So that's something I'm definitely going to need. I also have a Belkin power brick. This is something I reviewed, I believe, in my top five tech under $10. This has a surge protector built in and it's great for airports because usually if you can find an outlet at all, it's usually just one outlet and you have a ton of stuff to charge. So this has three power inputs as well as two USB inputs. I'm also bringing a GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. It shoots 4K, it's a great action camera. I opt for this one over the Session, which is a little bit smaller, just because the, the Hero 4 is small enough for me and I'd rather carry something that's a little bit bigger with um, better specs. Up here I've got an Olo clip. Now what this is is it clips onto your smartphone and it gives you two different lenses. This one specifically has a telephoto and a wide angle lens. It clips onto your iPhone in front of the existing camera and lets you modify that camera to be either a longer lens or a wider lens. Now this isn't something I've tested out extensively so I Again, I want to use this trip to experiment with it, get some footage, and possibly do a full review. Now down here, I've got my Apple products. This here is a 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro with a spec uh, satin finish case on it. I love this computer. It's obviously not as thin, not as portable as something like the MacBook Air, but I'm going to be doing editing while I'm on the road. So I really do need a computer that I can work with and that's why I'm bringing this. I'm also bringing the iPad Air 2. It was a de decision between this and the iPad mini and I went for this because I want that screen real estate. I also opted for the smart cover over the smart case just because when you have that smart case which covers the whole um, iPad, it, it becomes kind of difficult to slide it into a bag. Having this metal back makes it very nice and frictionless and you can just slide it in wherever you have room in your bag. Down here I have my daily driver, it's the iPhone 6S Plus in rose gold and the case I have on here is just a simple silicone case that came with the Olo clip. so it's actually designed for the Olo clip to fit onto the case so that's the only reason I've got this case on here. Next up I've got my Apple Watch, this is the bigger size Apple Watch in the stainless steel it's the middle tier version, so not the sport and certainly not the edition. I also put a leather strap on here. I just think it looks a little bit nicer than the sport band it comes with. Up here, we've got a Victronos Swiss uh, multi-tool. So this is the same company that makes the Swiss Army knives. I, I basically just got this because I've got a lot of camera gear with me. I don't know when I'm gonna need a screwdriver. I don't know what size I'm gonna need. So it's easier just to bring this with me than to worry about having to find something in a country where I don't speak the language. Okay, down here we have two Lacey four terabyte RAID drives. So this is eight terabytes in total in RAID. And my favorite thing again about these drives is that they have the cable built in, which means I don't have to carry two more Thunderbolt cables, which is awesome. Now I'm bringing two pairs of headphones and it might seem silly but I just couldn't decide between wired or Bluetooth. I'm a sucker for high quality audio and wireless audio simply cannot compete with wired audio. So I'm bringing the Bose QuietComfort 25 headphones. These are wired headphones even though the wires aren't here. This is for like watching movies on plane rides and stuff like that. Stuff where I really want to have high quality audio but I'm also bringing the Sennheiser MM550X Bluetooth headphones. This is for walking around, getting in and out of cabs. Situations where I don't want to have a wire coming out of my headphones just getting tangled all over the place. You can't really beat the convenience of Bluetooth headphones and this is one situation where I just want the best of both worlds so I'm gonna bring both. So my main tripod is the three-legged thing Evolution 3 Nigel. This is something I just picked up. Actually it's still on pre-order on their main US website but for some reason B&H had them in stock so I went over there 
and picked one up for myself. The Nigel, as far as I can tell, is just a slightly more stable version of their very popular Brian model. This tripod manufacturer is very, very highly reviewed. They've received a lot of praise and I'm looking forward to putting the Nigel to the test and telling you guys what I think. I'm also bringing a Gorilla Pod. These things are great just for throwing in your bag and having with you. They're very light and very malleable. You can stick a camera in basically anywhere with one of these. Over here, I've got the Barnacle. Now this is something I covered in my top five tech under $5 video. This is basically a stand you can use for your iPhone whenever you want to prop it up to say watch a movie or something like that. You just stick one end to the phone and one end to another smooth surface. I find this works really well. I love that it's small and light. You you can just throw it into a bag and it doesn't weigh very much or take up very much space. Over here I've got my passport. I've also got a wired selfie stick. Now this is something I'm really only gonna be using for the Theta because with a 3D camera, it's not really something you wanna hold because your hand doesn't really show up very well on the uh, 3D footage. But if you can bring one of these, you can extend it and put it up in the air and the footage looks a lot better. So that's why I'm bringing this guy. Over here, I've got a Hydro Flask water bottle. Um, this can really be used for anything, water, tea, it'll keep whatever you want cold or warm. It's very, very insulated. It's also very light and it's got this carabiner thing up here so you can hook it on to the side of your bag if you want. I really like this thing. It's very high quality. Underneath that, I've got a 10 port USB hub. This also has um, an outlet where you can plug in uh, wired power so that all of your devices will charge while being connected to your computer. 10 ports is more than I will ever need, but I love the fact that I have this just in case I need it. It also has the USB cable built into the actual unit, which I love because it means I'm not going to lose that USB cable. This is definitely a must have for a trip like this. And lastly, I just have some memory cards and some batteries. And that is it guys. That's what is in my bag, Extreme Travel Edition. But I wanna hear what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Did you find any of this useful? Do you have any questions for me about any of this stuff? And if you're new to this channel, definitely consider subscribing and I'll keep you up to date with all sorts of new fun stuff. Thanks so much guys. And I'll see you next time.